to it. Even though last year was a pretty good year at the box office, the actual number of tickets sold at theaters isn't growing, and it hasn't been for a while. So theater owners have to fight to make sure movie fans keep coming to the multiplex. Premium seating might be one draw. Another could be eSports. There's a company at CinemaCon called My Cinema, and they were giving guests a chance to try out the company's Racer X Club. So what am I driving here? It doesn't look like my Honda Hybrid. No, far from it. It's a Formula Renault 3.5 liter, uh, also somewhat like a F3 car or the second division in Formula One. Okay. All right, now grab the wheel as soon as you give it gas. It'll put it in gear and you're underway. Just trying to get the feel of the car. Uh, that was a little crash. I didn't brake well. I can't get back on the road. There we go. Am I going the right way now? I mean, even though this is like a virtual race, I'm like sweating. It's so intense. So in theory, would I be racing people at other theaters, people yes. sitting next to me? Yes. And how many people could be in a race? Um, I've seen as many as 60, 70 cars on the track at one time. And the idea is you would install these in a movie theater lobby, so before or after the show, or just come out and race before the show starts? Exactly, exactly. And, and Lobby A in Tucson, Arizona, could race against Lobby B in Chicago, Illinois. Glenn Morton of My Cinema says the idea about bringing esports attractions like this to a movie theater is to get people to come back to the theater more often and actually stick around for longer periods of time. With this type of event cinema is what we would call the esports. You come in on race day, you get to watch your team race. But we also bring in NASCAR or Formula One or some other content and it becomes a day. It's a day long that they stay in there. And what are exhibitors saying? I mean, what is your pitch to them and how have you, what kind of sense are you getting from them about the feasibility of installation? You know, this is probably the easiest thing I've ever sold in my life. <laughs> that the traffic is nonstop. They love it. They get it. They especially get the idea of esports and and bringing people back again and again because they're they're clearly looking for ways to make it a entertainment venue again. Uh, there's less and less opportunity with the blockbusters. You look at Q1 was really not that good for uh, the industry. 2020 is not looking much better. So this is everything we're hearing is this is absolutely what's needed.